Hi there Virgo, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Virgo, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Virgo, please? The past energy for Virgo. Virgo. So it's the most recent past, but you could also be going through it now. So just take it as is. So Virgo, the past energy for Virgo, please. Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, one more. Okay, so the past energy for Virgo, please. The past energy for Virgo. The Queen of Swords. The Five of Wands in reverse. With justice, okay. Now the present energy, it's the Page of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Oh boy. And the future energy. It's the King of Cups in reverse. All these reversals. And um, the future energy for Virgo, please. Oh, there you go. The Queen of Wands. But with the Six of Wands in reverse. And the overall energy for the reading. The Three of Cups in Reverse. It seems like there is someone that's feeling confused. And I don't see a reconciliation. Someone could even be indecisive. Or like not sure how to work things out. You're showing up as a Queen of Swords. You're trying to be logical and practical. Possibly wanting the truth. Since justice popped out as well. Like wanting there to be honesty. It could be possible that there is someone that's wanting to overcome conflict and make things right, but yet being confused on how to go about doing so. That's why I don't see them communicating or making an offer, and I don't see them rushing in passionately with the present energy. Although, with the King of Cups in reverse, this could be someone that's wanting to express how they feel, and they're seeing you as a Queen of Wands. You're very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident, but with the Six of Wands in reverse, this is someone that's uh, maybe having difficulty moving forward or there could just um, like not knowing how to reconcile things okay so let me clarify first before I say anything else let me clarify the three of cups in reverse for Virgo please the three of cups in reverse for Virgo the three of cups in reverse for Virgo The Three of Cups in Reverse for Virgo. The Three of Cups in Reverse for Virgo. All right. Clarifying the Three of Cups in Reverse. The Eight of Pentacles, yep, okay. The Nine of Pentacles, it's like the Eight of Pentacles and, and the Nine of Wands, oh boy. Um, so you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles, you could be very self-focused, focused on your independence, taking great care of yourself, you could even be focused on your work, right, putting effort towards that. But I also see someone thinking about you, but at the same time there could be, um, so this is you putting in the work towards yourself. But in regards to a specific situation, there could be walls or barriers that have been built up, okay? There could even be resistance. So let me get one more card before I say anything else. 
yeah, like there is that potential for happiness and wish fulfillment, but someone's confused about um, how to work things out in this situation. So, but you could also be putting in the effort towards your own wish fulfillment. But at the same time, the Three of Cups is showing up in reverse. So this is telling me something didn't pan out between you and a specific person. And now someone's trying to figure out like, um, like what to do here. Okay. So let me clarify the Queen of Swords. The Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Look at that, the Ace of Cups. So there is that potential for a brand new beginning in love. I also, let's see. The Six of Cups is showing up in reverse with the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, like there is that potential for a brand new beginning in love. And I don't see someone detaching from um, this connection with the Six of Swords in reverse. A lot of repetition of numbers. So let me clarify this five of wands in reverse before I say anything else. The four of wands in reverse though. The king of cups. Oh boy, there is someone that has a lot of love for you. Um, but uh, they could be wearing a mask and that's why the four of wands is showing up in reverse. So I see like a lack of stability because someone's not expressing how they feel with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So if they do have romantic feelings towards you, they're not expressing it. They're not rushing in. This could be even someone that's trying to figure out how to overcome conflict as well with the Five of Wands in reverse. Because I don't see someone detaching with the Six of Swords in reverse, but there's also a disconnect with the Six of Cups in reverse. I do see the potential for a brand new beginning in love though with the Ace of Cups. So let me clarify justice. Clarifying justice. Yeah, look at that. The knight, all the knights are showing up in reverse. So I don't see someone moving forward towards making things right. So with the world though, there could be like a distance between you and this person. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But it's like you share a strong bond with this person with strength. This could even be you wanting there to be loyalty, honesty. But I see an end to a cycle as well with the world. Let me get one more card. This could even be someone that's wanting to make things right. Wanting to overcome conflict and pain. So let me clarify the page of wands in reverse for the present. The devil, oh boy. Hmm. There is someone that has intense feelings towards you. And they are thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. But there's stagnancy at the same time. So if this person's not expressing how they feel, it can be somewhat unhealthy. But it seems like they are feeling confused with the Three of Wands in reverse. So it's like the Three of Cups in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. So let me clarify the Knight of Wands, the Wheel. This is going to be someone that's thinking about you quite a bit, but look at that, the High Priestess in reverse. Um, justice. Twice. So you could be dealing with the Libra, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's like um, the Wheel of Fortune is talking about positive chain, like somebody wanting things to take a turn for the positive, but they're not rushing in passionately, um, expressing themselves. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about like a fated encounter, even time. I feel like someone's having trouble listening to their intuition or there's like a lack of clarity on how to make things right with justice how to balance things out. So let me clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Cups in reverse though, interesting. The Ten of Swords, I feel like there is someone that has clarity regarding their feelings, but there's also pain with the Ten of Swords. 
So especially if there has been like an ending or, let's see. But there could also be pain if someone's not expressing how they feel towards you, okay? Yeah, the moon in reverse. This is somebody that's wanting to express how they feel. So they don't want things hidden in the dark. They do have clarity regarding their feelings, but there's also pain. And I don't see this person communicating or making an offer. But they are thinking about you with the Four of Swords, quite a bit with the Devil. Okay, so let me clarify the King of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Wands. Oh boy, there is resistance. Um, let's see. The Hermit. Let me get one more card. This person wants to express how they feel, but they could be internally conflicted. There could even be conflict between you and this person. That's why the Six of Wands is showing up in reverse. So I feel like this person is doing some deep introspective thinking and self-reflection when it comes to this connection, but they're not taking action and they're not communicating. This could also be talking about healing. So I don't see them communicating, but there could be spying with the Page of Swords in reverse. This person could have been hit with some sort of awareness as well with the Hermit. So let me clarify the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Aww. Nine could be a significant number. The Star. So I feel like this situation could be making you feel kind of unhappy or dissatisfied. Especially if there's like a lack of communication. So with death, you could be going through changes. So death talks about like endings and new beginnings. So I see you kind of going through the healing process, trying to remain balanced, trying to remain hopeful, uh, regardless of the situation. So I see healing with the hermit and the star. So let me clarify the six of wands in reverse. Clarifying the Six of Wands in reverse. The Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords in reverse. With the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Empress. This is interesting. So, you're showing up as the Empress. You're someone that's very loving, very nurturing, and very beautiful. But with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of... There is like a lack of expression when it comes to this connection. So with the Eight of Swords, there's a lot of overthinking. Um, someone couldn't be feeling stuck or there's like fear-based thoughts. That's why I don't see forward momentum when it comes to this connection. So someone's not being direct about their feelings and there's a lack of expression. Um, so that's why there's resistance or walls or barriers have been built up in this connection. So it's possible that you may have pulled your energy back regarding the situation. Because um, maybe with the Nine of Cups in reverse, there could have been dissatisfaction or something about the situation was making you quite unhappy. Okay, so let me get further insight. From the Intimate Tarot for Virgo, please. Virgo. Virgo. I see this person doing some deep introspective thinking though. Couldn't be putting effort towards healing. That's why they're not communicating. But I see it on both sides, so it's just not one-sided. Okay. The King of Pentacles. So I do see the potential for stability, but at the same time with the Seven of Wands, 
Yeah, this is really talking about like resistance. And the situation could have gone through major changes. Someone could have been triggered as well, but it's also talking about like change. So the Six of Pentacles, let's see before I say anything else. So there is that potential for a brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups though, showing up twice. And there is that potential for wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. So with the Six of Pentacles, there's, it's, it's really talking about like there having to be an equal give and take in energy. You could also be a very generous person with the Six of Pentacles. But there is disappointment though with the Four of Cups, especially if there's conflict or resistance. And the situation could have gone through major changes with the tower. Okay, let me get one more card. Temperance. So I see you um, possibly trying to remain balanced. Okay, um, you could be a very patient person as well. But this is also talking about healing. So let me get messages from the Oracle deck for Virgo, please. I'm hoping someone doesn't make a sound in the background. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping. <laughs> so messages from the Oracle deck for Virgo. All right. So card number 40. Okay. Card number 40, which is four. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Okay. And card number 36, which is nine. Nine could be a significant number. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. So this is talking about like being emotionally open on both sides. Someone having to be open from their heart space. So especially if there's like a like resistance or like walls or barriers have been built up in this connection, a lack of expression. It's like they're having to be emotional openness on both sides in order for things to work out. So let's see, let me get messages from the Romance Angel deck for Virgo, please. Virgo, there is a potential for happiness though, but it requires effort. It's like the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. All right, messages for Virgo from the Romance Angel deck. Okay, good stuff. Okay, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you could be a very playful person or... Keeping things light, so maybe not taking things too seriously, as long as there's not toxicity, right? But let's see, messages from the soul helper, <laughs> there we go, the soul helper um, deck. Yeah, nine could be a significant number, it it's, and it's my self-care card, it's about healing, um, being happy with self. So card number 22, which is four, the time for romance has come. Uh, the time for romance has come. See it as an opportunity for a radiant life. So being open to that. And card number nine, leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions. Okay, Virgo. So that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.